Hi, in this lesson we will extend the power of Google Sheet to create a multi-independent list. What I mean, here we have a group of countries. For this example, we have only three, Egypt, United States and England. When I select Egypt, here I got all the regions in Egypt. If I select USA, again I have to wait, then I have all the states in the United States. If I go to England, if I change England to USA, this cell now is blank because of course it was selected from England and now I have the new list. I will close this file and will start from scratch. This is the exact same file with all the functionality. We have the three countries and we have three lists. Each list indicate the govern rate or regions in the country so as a beginning we have to convert each range into name and this name must be equal to the country name the country name must be one word with no space so from data name range i select all the countries of egypt i press Control shift down add range this range is egypt done I'll do the same with the status, so I select all of them. I will add range USA. So in any cell in my sheet, I will type one country, let's say Egypt. So in cell I1, I type Egypt. In cell H1, I am going to indirect what I write in I1. So if the names are correct, so when I type Egypt, I get all the governor rate in Egypt. If I type USA, I got all the status. If I type England, I got the region to fill. So now this cell is working fine. So I have a list and independent list. But how to modify this to be a crossroads? I'll create a new sheet. Let's say here we will have list of the country and here we will have list of the regions. Uh, let's say we will stop at 21. So this range from data data validation this range is a range of countries so in any cell here we can select Egypt USA or England actually we cannot achieve the goal using the normal uh, sheet we have to write our own script so we are going to tools script editor is this a type of uh, JavaScript, uh, especially for uh, Google Sheet? I'm going to save the project. Let's say I will name it Test Code or any name. Uh, I need this code to run if the user select a country from Sheet 2, from this range. So this code, this function is uh, on edit. It means this function will run if the user modify any cell in the sheet. So to start, we have to create a variable. This variable uh, we, we use to refer to the current uh, file. If you're using Google Chrome, you can uh, use control space uh, to add the code, but um, because I'm using another browser, I cannot use. I have to use it from the edit, so spreadsheet app dot get get active spreadsheet dot get active sheet. I, I'm going to type it uh, manually, but if you're using use Google Chrome, you can uh, use control space to get uh, intelligence. So. Uh, this line we use only to refer to the current file. So this line just refer to the, but I need to refer to the current cell. So I'm going to create a, uh, another function, another variable. Let's say name it current. You can use any name. This variable will refer to start. Start is my variable name. Get active cell. So. Uh, 
every time the user edit in the file this variable will carry where is the user so if the user is here this variable will be i9 e3 and so on now i need to refer to uh, the worksheet this this uh, so i'm going to create variables to refer to this line is just a comment to help me understand the code if i come back to the code uh, i have two worksheets sheet one which is the list sheet two which is the table so i can create two variables uh, the first variable is list uh, and i will use this one to refer to sheet one so i'm going to take is a spreadsheet app control v but i need to refer to a sheet by name so to get sheet by name sheet one so in the code if i need to say sheet one i will say list because we use list to get sheet by name and we refer to sheet one i will copy this line our main table is in sheet two so now we have two variables to refer to the two worksheet now i need to check has the user select a country if the user modify any cell starting from cell a2 till a21 it means a user select a country because in this cell he can only select one of the country so if current which is my uh, variable dot get column equal equal means uh, to check is it equal to one or no so uh, this is if statement so i need two more brackets then i need curly brackets so uh, now i say to the code if the user in modify any cell in column one so what what we need to do now we need to copy the selected country it means we are going to create a variable let's say choice what the user choose this variable is equal to current current which is my current cell because i create a variable called current dot get value then I have to go to sheet one. Sheet one is list. So list dot get range. I can refer to the range by two numbers, by three numbers, by four numbers. Here I need to refer by two numbers because I want to refer to only one cell, which is cell I1. So the row number is one. The column number is, I have to count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 9, dot set value, choice. We can test the code so far. I have to run the code. I got a warning. The line 19, sorry, I have to close this one. Uh, uh, usually if you have an error <laughs> in line sometimes it means that the error in the previous line anyway we will need to run the code we need to trust the code you will get a warning here so you have to skip the warning and and advance then you have to give this code a permission to modify your uh, drive line for git active cell oh so now it's usa uh, if i select england from any cell now it's england and so on so now the code is working so the code now is modifying the list in sheet one according to whatever i select in this code I need to create a validation using this range each one let's say to each 53 because we have here 52 value 
So let's add one more. So now we are going to create the rule. To create the rule, we have to create a point. Uh, this is just a variable. You can use any name, which means where you want your validation to be. So I want my validation to be in my current cell, offset, 0, 1, which means 0 to stay in the same row, 1, which means to move one column. So if the user is here, the validation will be here. If the user is here, the validation will be here. If the user is here, there's no validation because I am limited to column number one. So I, I need to carry the, carry the list. So I'm creating uh, items which will refer to the first sheet. Get range. Now I need to use three numbers to refer to the range. I need to say H1, which means 1, 8, and 53. So 1, 8, which means start from cell H1, 53, and copy till 53. Now I create the rule. which is a spreadsheet app dot new data validation dot require value in range the value is the items I need the list to be visible so true and I need to build this point which my place I need to put the validation will set data validation using my rule new data the mistake is a new data validation new small n now everything is great if i go to usa i got all usa if i go to egypt i got egypt and so on if i got i can't uh, govern rate from egypt a swarm but if then i go to usa i still have a swarm but with an error uh, and we have one mistake also and if here you say and here Egypt this list is Egypt and this list also is Egypt so I need to do two more steps to clear the validation from the whole range except the current one and clear uh, the value if there is any value in the regions column let's start by clear any previous validation clear any validation this sheet is main my my name is main for the sheet so main dot get range if the range range from 2 to 20 or 22 2 2 it means start from here because this is row number 2 this is column number 2 and go 22 so will go till here dot clear data validation let's try we have to save the code now we don't have any other validation only this one Okay, now I need to clear if there is any value. So, before I put the validation rule, I will clear content. So, point, 
dot clear content now my code is finished you have to save so it is not Egypt it is USA so now the cell is blank I, I got a new list here USA it is the same and so on